Today we're going to be looking at the top five best class setups here in the Modern Warfare 2 beta. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button. Today's like goal is 45 likes. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. And also comment down below what your top five class setups are or top five guns. It doesn't matter. And also let me know how your beta weekend is going. Mine is going great so far. We're uploading tons of videos. So if you could check out all of those for me, I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get into the top five class setups. On the barrel, we're going to be using the Tempest Trench Pro, and it helps out with the aim down sight speed and movement speed. On the under barrel, we're going to be using the Lock Grip Precision 40. It helps out with the hit fire accuracy, gun kick control, and aim walking steadiness. You can go with this one or the VX Pineapple Vert Grip. They're both really good. On the rear grip, we're going to be using the Saken ZX Grip. It helps out with the recoil control. And on the stock, we're going to be using the Corio Precio Factory stock. It helps out with the aiming stability and recoil control. That is my best M4 class setup. I hope you guys enjoy it if you do try it out. Now let's jump into the next one. So for my second favorite class setup or gun to use, it will be the Lackman Sub, aka the MP5. On the MP5, we are running the L38 Falcon 226 millimeter barrel. Helps out with aim down sight speed and movement speed. On the muzzle, we're gonna be using the Lockshot KT85. It helps out with horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control. And on the under barrel, we're gonna be using the VX Pineapple Vert Grip. It helps out with hip fire accuracy, gun kick control, hip recoil control and aim walking steadiness. And on the magazine, I'm using the 40 rounds and that is because I like having more than just 30 rounds. And on the rear grip, we're gonna be using the LM Chronos grip. It helps out with flinch resistance. If you guys like this class setup, let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Now we're gonna jump into the third class setup that I like. Now the FSS Hurricane is my third best gun or favorite class setup to use. We're gonna jump into the attachments now. So to start us off with, on the barrel, I'm gonna be using the FSS Cannon Aid 16 inch barrel. It helps out with damage range, hit fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. On the muzzle, I'm gonna be using the Lockshot KT85. It helps out with horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control. On the under barrel, I'm gonna be using the VX Pineapple Vert Grip. It helps out with hip fire accuracy, gun kick control, hip recoil control, and aim walking steadiness. And on the rear grip, we're gonna be using the X10 grip. It helps out with sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. And last but not least, on the stock, we're going to be using that demo Quicksilver stock. It helps with sprint speed, aim walking speed, crouch movement speed, and aim down sight speed. Let me know what you, you think of this class setup down in the comments as well. All right, so for my fourth gun or class setup that I like the most is the Lackman 556. We're going to jump into the attachments now. On the barrel, I'm going to be using the Lackman Nova barrel. It helps out with bullet velocity, recoil control, damage range, and hip fire accuracy. On the under barrel, I'm going to be using the VX Pineapple Vert Grip. It helps with hip fire accuracy, gun kick control, hip recoil control, and aim walking steadiness. On the rear grip, I'm going to be using the LMK 64 grip. It helps with the sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed and on the stock i'm going to be using the lms factory g79 stock it helps with aiming stability and recoil control and of course i love the Corona mini red dot that has to go on the optic let me know what you think of this class setup all right so for the final gun that i like the most is definitely the lms we're going to jump right into the attachments now. On the muzzle, we're going to be using the Saken Tread 40 Compensator. It helps with the vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control. On the under barrel, we're going to be using the VX Pineapple Vert Grip. It helps with the hip fire accuracy, gun kick control, hip recoil control, and aim walking steadiness. And on the magazine, I'm using the 15 round mag. I just like having more than 10. It gives an extra five. And on the rear grip, we're going to be using the Lackman TCG 10. It helps out with the recoil control. And on the optic, I am using the SZ Lone Wolf optic. If you guys like all of these class setups or you end up trying any of them, come back to this video. Let me know what you didn't like and let me know what you did like. That's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Definitely.